foreshadowing. We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. That's at least three people that say hashtag in this game, and I'm not okay with that. This needs to stop hey, now. Hashtag Get stop it. Here. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. Creepy well, guy, stop. creepy guy behind you. you. That might have been a good idea before I jumped down to my potential death. Okay, okay, John. Game face on, don't fuck this up. Although, absolute worst case scenario, if I fuck this up, I can play through to the end of the game and come back to this chapter. At least I've got to this point. Hurry up! Thank God. Right. So I'm pretty sure the last time after I did this, they changed back to Conrad, so that's why I've never been able to test this theory out before or had a second chat. Only time I've been with Fliss for this next part, the counterpart of uh, Glamour Girl, it was the very first playthrough when Fred was Conrad. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I only had that one shot at it. Huh, right, this is where I want to be. So, Conrad's freaking the fuck out. I think. Right, where was this door? I'm sure there was a door that she said, oh, I can't open this on my own. Sure, please tell me I'm not imagining things. Oh, what the fuck, don't muck about with me now, for fuck's sake. I'm worried that I'm on a timer against Conrad here as well, actually. I'm just going to suddenly get thrown into a chase. Water purification. Right, can only assume I already had that. Well, I'll know when I find it. the secret I don't have because it's the last one I need. Yeah, I'm not looking through there. Right, is this possibly the, the door? Yes! Right, this is exactly what I was expecting. Apart from I don't know what's on the other side of this door, but I knew, uh, right, I at least had a feeling that there was something. A door. That she couldn't open on her own. Right, so what's in here? Please tell me there's a picture and a secret. Otherwise I'm going to start crying if, there's, if this is not the answer to my fucking problems. After, especially after all that bloody effort to get here. Right, there doesn't seem to be much on the tables, but I spotted a picture at least. Thank God. What's, oh right, that's a wee foreshadowing of Conrad's death, it seems. And that's a trophy for all the picture frames. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a secret in here as well. Fuck. Where on earth is this secret going to be then? I'll keep looking because I've only done this once, I suppose. Nope. Uh, I do remember seeing that, I'm pretty sure, actually. Oh, this is destroying me. You're breaking my heart, game. You are breaking my heart. Go in, please. Go in, please. What's in here? Oh yeah, I remember the safe. I don't think I ever got it open. Right. There has to be a key around here somewhere. By weird coincidence, are the two things that I need uh, actually in this one section. In his wife. Right. Come on. Where the fuck's this key then? It has to be in this section, surely. Or uh, don't tell me I've been bypassing everything so quickly to get to this point. I've missed it. Oh fuck, that's going to start a chase, isn't it? Conrad, nah. pull yourself together. Come on. Where the hell's the safe key? 
And there's that guy again. Fuck that guy. No, can we not just... Oh! I don't even know this is where I need to be, but now I need to play to the end of the fucking game to come back here on chapter select. Just to see. I hate this fucking pish. It's so frustrating, just when you think you're fucking getting somewhere. Right, you do that. Good for you. Oh. Every fucking glimmer of hope I get, suddenly it gets yanked away and I'm feeling ten times worse after it. It's me, it's bliss. Only consolation, and it's fucking very small consolation. Probably doesn't even qualify as consolation, is that I'm getting to see this scene again, now knowing the context of what Conrad is imagining and stuff like that. So that I'm pretty sure that bit with the door is where she puts her the demon woman puts her hand through. But fuck me. How many? Oh god, I thought I. Mm. And I can't even just say, right, well, I'll continue with this and try and keep everyone alive, because I'm pretty sure, because I wasn't controlling this stupid bitch, Julia, she got the bends all on her own. So even if I did keep everyone alive right to the end, she's gonna die anyway. So I can't even say, right, well, I'll get the trophy for di uh, no one dying. So I'm going to have to play through this, go back to that chapter, see if I can find the save key, assuming that that's what it is that I need. I'm pretty sure I didn't open it the last time. Then I'm still going to have to fucking find a playthrough to... playthrough... <laughs> to get everyone alive. So that's at least twice more I have to play this game to the end, these chapters right to the end. F. My. L. Oh wait, I wonder if that's what the kitchen knife does. If Alex had taken the kitchen knife Come on. We gotta and then Olsen got it after the water, that part there, I wonder if he just runs up and stabs them rather than grabbing them. But I've never had Conrad alive since he started getting the knife. Eh, uh, aye. He's either not been alive or he's not been on the ship. So I've never had that bit where it gets in the way, kind of thing. Interesting. Still figuring shit out and probably jumping to the wrong conclusions. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. No, il ne boit pas de vin. Yeah, this would be so fucking triumphant if Julia didn't have the bastard in bends. I would have got her away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky bends. God damn it. <sighs> Idiots. Right, so if I go back to, what was it, Glamour Girl. Yeah, it must be Glamour Girl. And I'm guessing Conrad's on a timer just like all the other stuff is, although it could have been just because I went so close to the door. Be weirdly con yeah, coincidental timing if it is a timer right enough. But I think there's more of that room that I didn't get a chance to explore, so let's go looking for... Let's go looking for uh, safe keys. At least I don't need to waste time with a needs two of us door. So I can head straight along to that door with the safe, or the room with the safe even. See if we can get into the next room without triggering Conrad and have a look around. And if it's not in the safe, then who the hell knows where it is? Because I'd forgotten all about the safe, but I'm fairly certain now that I've been reacquainted with it that I never got in there in the end. So that seems a logical place to have something similar to 
when I realised about the the door that needed two people. It's like one part that's jumping out. Oh shit! Right. Run, 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 run. Don't need to bother about clipboard. Not looking through there. Not opening you. Don't even care what's through there, do I? Maybe I should care. Eh. Uh, right. If Conrad triggers right away as I go through here, then maybe I do care. And I'll, I'll do it again. Right. That must have just been weird timing then, I think. Seems like I'm getting more of a chance here. Did I see these medals? What was that? I just got a glimpse of. Ah. Oh. That was actually more straightforward than I was thinking. No! I think that's it. me getting in proximity. Fuck me! It's like one step forward and 20 steps back every single time. I feel like I'm fucking calming down, thinking logically. Right, we try out this other thing that I've maybe had an idea about. It seems to be going right. And then <laughs> the game just gives you a massive fuck you. Sticks up the middle finger. And I have to go back and fucking try it again. Jesus. Trial and error taken to the extreme here. Right, so it definitely seems to be triggered by me getting in proximity to the door. Because that was a lot shorter time than the first time when I was in that room and everything, so I just need to stay as far away from that door as possible when I'm in that room then get the key, try and edge my way back out because I went over to the desk next to the door and I think that's what triggered it, so stay on this side in here open drawer, lift up medals check the medals away no one cares about your war efforts Take the key. Now stay well away from that door. Okay, I'm not going to get my hopes up yet because there's still time for something to fuck this over. Also, can't remember if I've already done this or not. Oh! So the <laughs> oh! 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 Trophy! Trophiness! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I actually think I might start crying. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's hopefully do this. Everybody survives. Most of us are going somewhere we know. That doesn't mean we should know what to expect. Five lives. Three deaths. One shot. Whatever it takes. Everybody comes home. Da -da 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 I burned my tongue. Oh hi, I hope you weren't trying to open the safe and I've just interrupted. Okay, I don't want to attempt to it, but I'd really like it if this is the last time I had to do this part. <laughs> I feel like I've spent my life up here. Man. Okay, let's just quietly and calmly not jump to our deaths, please. Sounds good. Oh, it's Brad. Dude, come on! It's me! It's Brad! Yeah, I know, but why? Where's where's Liz? I'm not gonna kiss you, am I? I mean not there's anything wrong with that, but I mean the alternative is Fliss, so Okay. One life saved. Watch me fuck this up and Alex or Ju Julia died. Actually, this guy got the knife. This guy has the knife. Oh no, and I just 
just theorised <laughs> previously that if Conrad is alive and these pricks pause at the door, then maybe knifey comes and stabs him. Oh my god, don't tell me I'm going to have to go back and not choose the knife and go through this again. Shit. Ah, oh, feck. Feck on a stick. If I jump, then I can pick up something. Like a bit of rebar or something like that. Oh shit! So hopefully that lets me fend him off if he does try to... Oh god. There was me thinking this could be fairly plain sailing. Right, fight back. Not taking any of your shit. I'm not buying what you're selling, prick! Oh no, she drops it anyway. Oh, it's something outside the door, isn't it? It's like a bloody gas canister or something. Oh fuck, who knows? See, uh -huh. Move, Conrad! What's going on? Hey, sis, what's up? Out of the way! Oh, thank God, well done, Alex. That was probably a QTE if I was playing as Alex there, but... Oh. Somewhere safe. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> for a moment there, I thought we'd fucked it. So, all five alive. All I need to do now is successfully not get shot by Junior, which is like my. Getting shot by Junior is my specialty. <laughs> Set a record for the amount of times I got shot by Junior. Shot in. Just not always the person that I'm trying to get shot. Are we good here? We're good, I think. Yeah, so don't get shot by Junior. If we can, save Junior. Uh, and then Alex chooses to not stab himself. Piranha, freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello? Okay, so Hello? Is anyone out there? that should Please be the military in. coming, but not knowing the, the name of the ship. So they're not going to automatically kill us, so even if... I somehow managed to fuck up the regular cop. Yo, we guys, should still all it make out. it off alive. Assuming that everyone is still alive at that point. <laughs> should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Well, fuck you, you Julia. Half the ship is submerged. Could be a life -save. Really wish there was a skip cutscene option as well. For those times where you already have seen it, there are no variations and you just want to get the fuck on. That would be uh, rather rather pleasant. Or less unpleasant, anyway. Still rather not have to play the same fucking segment every 20 minutes just trying to figure it out. Run, maybe? We've got a split. Let's make like a banana and get out of here. You're the captain of nothing, bitch. Oh, fuck, I fucked it. Oh, well, Junior's dead. I shouldn't have spoken. I should have just kept concentrating. Yeah, go for it. Inside. Uh, grab pistol. And then shoot self. Well, at least it wasn't us. <clears throat> Sorry, Junior. Oh well. Should be... Plain sailing from here. No, <laughs> no pun intended. All I need to do is not stab Fliss or myself when I'm playing as Alex later on. And as useless as I sometimes might be, I think I can manage to not do anything. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh, I'm not going far. Maybe. Just wait by the radio. Sometimes you just get lucky. Not me though. Watch this be a new secret ending where Smoke Monster from Lost turns up and kills everyone or something. 
even though you can't cross the floor. Right. Should be good. Should be good as gold and stupid as mud. But we carry on regardless. Don't know why it's all sitting here, but carry on regardless. Get away! Get away from me! Alex! It's me! Used to be a two-headed creature of fear, but carry on regardless. Put it down! Now! Put it down! Pay no attention to that rat behind the abdomen. Come on, you rat fucker! Keep on coming, why don't you? Right. This could be the the straightforward thing I've ever done. Hey there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. Right, let's get the hell out of here. All of us. Also, you got over that really quickly, though. Alright, sadly, no junior to tag along with us, but still. Five out of five, baby. And I double checked that. Julia definitely doesn't have the bends in this playthrough, so All right. we should be good from Let's here. Try it. Let's try fuck it. Out. Easy, easy, easy. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago And it's gone right to my head Land or sea or foam Wherever I may roam You will always hear me singing this song Show me the way to go home Show me the way to go home does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? Oh, yes. This guy. Yeah. So many Frosties. They're great! <laughs> yeah. Right, this prick better be happy. Come on, Tommy Lassels. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. Suppose nothing. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. Thanks. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. No, for Julia though, because she decompressed, baby. Oh, I've stayed in baby again. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, Doubt maybe it. somewhere else. Maybe. But be certain, we will meet again. Oh, we will, it's will we? Inevitable. It's Iron Man. Everyone's saved. Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another One of those days I'll maybe listen to the full song, but not today. Won't you spare me over till another year? Poor Danny left him behind. Sorry, Danny. At least you're still alive and like Junior. Not bad. What the fuck? 
rip those guys. Now give me a platinum, bitch. Ho oh, ho! Hello there. That's something, I suppose. That's the name of the trophy. Platinum! There we go. Job equals done. Platinum trophy, baby. And. Oh, stop saying baby, you dick. I say I'm going to allow myself that time because that was my 100th platinum trophy. Yeah. Yeah. Sweaty virgin or what? But that was good. Uh, well, was it? Some of it was good. Parts of it were good. It was It was kind of a roller coaster of emotions, actually. I started off absolutely shitting myself and almost being too scared to play the game. Then I weirdly started to enjoy it. Like, even the the possibility of something jumping out at me and stuff, I was pretty strangely hooked to that. Then I was disappointed when co-op was a glitchy mess and we weren't getting the credit for half the stuff. Then, interesting and intrigued when, um, when I started discovering some of the branching paths through some of the next few playthroughs. And then just gradually more and more frustrated at how tedious it was to eke out every last little branch and every possibility and the trial and error was good up until a point but it the novelty wore off and it just became exhausting long before the end there so part, part of that might have been because I wasn't doing it the most efficient way well I didn't know what half the trophies were anyway because they were secret um, or hidden trophies uh, and I knew that there was a trophy for finding all secrets, but that doesn't mean that I can do any, any kind of tactics to try and get that more efficiently than any other way. So there's probably... It'd be interesting to see what the minimum number of playthroughs you can actually get everything in. More than two, I would say. Yeah, it has to be more than two. You need all hearts, all brain decisions, and... Only one of them led to one of the living or dying trophies. So yeah, there would be a few different uh, branches you need to do, even if you're being the most efficient. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see how quickly you could get it done if you just had a, a guide. I'm guessing there's a guide someone's put together saying, right, this playthrough, do this, get these, do that, choose this, bang. Next one, and then in four or five playthroughs that you've done. But, uh, I mean, overall, decent. If it wasn't for the glitches and if I'd been able to play more of it uh, co-op with Fred, then I probably would have enjoyed it more. But then it just became another one of those games that I just sit and grind at. It was a big, big grind fest at the end there. Just like tiny little things that were making a difference and then having to go back and redo it just to change that one thing and then something else further down the line needs changed and yeah I, I like the concept I really like the concept but the execution and again part of this might be down to the choices I made it was it was too much it became too tedious so I don't know if I'll rush into the the rest of the series there was a point during that where I was like when I just discovered, oh, Brad can stay in the ship, or Brad can not get captured by Junior when they climbed down to try and get the thing, and there were these other chapters, at that point I was thinking, this is absolutely brilliant, I'm going to go straight on to the next game after this, but now this has really, really scunnered me, so I might look at the other games at some point, but I need a break to play something else. Quite a few something else is probably in between. But, didn't hate it. Hated moments of it. <laughs> Overall, quite enjoyed it. You might not have been able to tell that from my angry shouting and swearing, but that's just how I express myself.